So the first thing what you want to do is take out the magazine. The next step is twisting out the uh, CO2 cap. Removing the barrel. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen every single screw and then we're not going to take out the screws. We're just going to open it up, lift it up and leave everything intact. This is the easiest way I found it to be. Plus you ain't got to fumble with the screws. So uh, let's start uh, loosening up the screws. Now the last screw is this one. Then we're gonna do this screw here. Okay, so let's make sure everything is loosened. Then I'm going to loosen this last screw here. All right, so what you wanna do is, once you know that the screws are completely loose, yeah, that's completely loose. And this one, yeah, that's loose. Okay, make sure that's yeah, loose. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna push down on this area because there's a spring inside that's on the tension and we're gonna open it because this is a, a clamshell design okay so let's just put it back like that and uh, let's try it so just hold it down gently lift up the clamshell make sure you get every angle loosened up front and just lift it up gentle so that way you don't knock anything out so it seems like this last one here is not fully loose okay so hold it and just carefully move it to the side So this is under pressure right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna release the block and get the pressure out. So what I mean by is this spring here, this spring here is pushing forward onto this block, which is your breech. So let me get that pressure released. And I'm going to lift this up. And this is your, your breech.
and here is your spring to push back the uh, the bolt when it slides forward so this is the bolt assembly here and I already have uh, serviced this already so I just figured I'll show you and then this is your regulator now this piece right here doesn't have an adjustable cap if you want to adjust it you would have to take a monkey wrench and just squeeze on it and uh, to increase the velocity you have to turn it clockwise to, to, to reduce the velocity you have to turn it counterclockwise so the more tight it is the more velocity you're gonna get so if you want to modify this to increase the velocity my suggestion is get a vise, clamp it down, and then basically cut a line that you could fit a flathead screwdriver, and then make sure it fits with the flathead screwdriver, and then you could just put everything back together, and then you're fine. You could adjust your velocity without having to open this clamshell back up again. So this is, this is basically it. It's really not much to it. And if you wanna shoot HP 68s, you could get the uh, T the Tipman long range kit and you would replace this block. See, this is round. With the HP 68 rounds, you need the, the D-shape uh, breech. So with that long range kit, it's able to shoot shape projectiles. So it would work with the HP 68. So there's also a, a little window that's right, I'm going to show you, there's a little window that is right, let me see if I can get on the camera, right there. So you want to make sure that that's in place when you put the, uh, the TPR back together. That goes basically right here. So that's, it's always good to make sure that that's there. So this is how you just take it apart and if you want to modify it, cut a slit right here in the regulator and um, close it up and you'll be able to adjust your velocity with the TPR from there on. So let me put it back together and show you how simple it is. So when you buy a Mission TPR, it comes with a little package of white grease. You could put the grease on here and you could put the grease on here. This right here is basically to, uh, this ring is to, when the, the bolt blows forward, it's supposed to absorb the impact of the bolt. So, let me see if I can show you on camera. So, put the ring here, put the ring there, and the spring is in between, so when the bolt goes forward, to launch the projectile, that spring pushes the bolt right back into place. So I'm gonna put the put this back together. So it's very simple. Just put it like this. I'm gonna put and this here. Make sure that the the detents in place. And uh, you want to make sure that these two are connected. So that has to be inside of this the bolt assembly the regulator has to be inside the bolt assembly and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this here make sure it's in all the way and then I'm gonna connect it on this end and make sure that's in all the way so now my next step is I'm gonna put this block back on, but I have to push it together. It's gonna be under a lot of spring tension. So this is how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna slide this back. Remember, the breach has to be in this area. So you're gonna push it. 
is going to sit in the clamshell and you just want to hold it in place. While you're holding it in place, make sure you squeeze these two together, this part and the regulator together. So that way it's sitting sealed so there's no leaks. Then you're going to want to put this in. Okay, so now it's sitting in. So my next step is going to be making sure this is all together. My next step is putting the clamp, the, the other half on while I'm holding this down. So as you hold it down, just slightly, just wrote, um, slightly just grab this and move the safety. I mean, not the safety, the magazine release out of the way. And just shimmy it down. Okay. And now it's on. So the window's in place, you see it there. So let me just tighten it up more, make sure everything is snugged. And safety's working. Okay. Now let's put the magazine back in, what you see is the breach right there, magazine's done, so it's working properly. Okay, that's working, the CO2 door, put it in, that's good, and the barrel. So with the barrel, just make sure you turn it the opposite direction until you feel it sit, and then you just turn it to tighten it up. Voila. That's how you modify your TPR to adjust the velocity, or if you want to clean it or do any maintenance to it, it's very simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if, it, if you found it helpful, click a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers which is unbelievable and um, stay safe out there and have a good day.